Hey there folks, this is the Uniform Guy again, here with another review. And in this video, we will be going over the Berlin Wall to the Deutsche Democratic Republic. The uniform in front of the camera here is from the National Volks Army Land Division, and it is a parade-style uniform for a rank of private. As in most of my videos, I will be going from head to toe, going over each individual item and talking a little bit about them and what they're there for. So, starting at the top, we have the Schermutes with parade style chin strap. So I'll just bring it over for a closer look. Now, as we can see here, hopefully, just get that into focus, is the Deutsches Democratic Republic logo in the middle of the hammer and compass surrounded by a cockade of oak leaves. A similar cockade would be used to surround the lower part of the Wehrmacht peak cap during World War II. Now I'll turn it inside to give you a little view. As you can see it's got MVA which is National Vox Army, 62 which is the centimetre size and then underneath here it has 1856 I believe that's something to do with a manufacturing number or factory name. Now this hat, as you can see, has been very rarely used, mostly kept in storage by the newspaper in here. If we just pull this out, uh, let's see what we've got here. We should find a date. There we go. This may give us an idea as to the age of the hat. So we've got 8th of May 1974, so a good 40 years old. Now the normal hats for NCOs and lower, so privates, would have a plastic or leatherette chin strap for standard use, but being parade, a silver aluminium cord has been put on this one. Just pop it back onto the uniform. Then moving down to the tunic, as you can see there is white in the middle of the rank tabs, there is white piping on the epaulets, there is white piping on the cuff, white piping on the hat, and on these, as it's parade style, hopefully you can see, white piping down the side of the trousers. The white piping being the litson used to deny branch of service. So white is infantry, with Cold War uniforms, I believe red was Stasi, green was police. They changed it around a lot from the World War II ones. But the Litson, as the World War II ones, are still used in these uniforms. Another thing to note, which denotes this as a parade uniform, is matching tabs on the cuff, which are similar installed to the collar tabs and the Warsaw Pact belt which we'll go into a little bit more in a moment. A bit more talk of the tunic, this is a five button, you can see three buttons there. There is another button on the turn down collar because this can be worn as either open collar as this style here or the closed collar and it actually has clips underneath the collar to hold them closed. But the other belt, uh, the other button is below the belt. There's also a four pocket tunic with reverse scallop cut pockets, very similar to the 1936 pattern of Deutsches Wehrmacht tunics. It's also similar to the West German Bundeswehr uniforms, which had more World War II style buttons as opposed to the NVA ones which are the pebble finish with a flat rim around the outside. Another thing to note on this uniform insignia wise is the badge on this pocket here. Not worn on the medal side as it's not a medal, it is a political award. This is a DDR shooting award. So Somewhere I've read states that it is a youth one, but I believe it is actually a lower class one than the lanyard, which would go from the epaulet down to the button here, which I don't actually 
actually have in my collection at the moment. And the final bit of interesting insignia is the chevron down on the arm opposite of where a kafta would be, but at the same height. This chevron is for unteroffices and lower, so NCOs and lower, and it denotes three years voluntary service. Right. As we can see here, there's also some parade gloves. These actually go quite high up, but these would be worn. I say they go quite high up, higher than the British ones and a lot thicker. But these are the white parade uniforms that would be worn. So I'll just tuck them back inside the belt. And then the belt here, as I said, is a Warsaw packed belt. I'll just uh, try the gloves to one side. Let's see if we can get this off. It's not too dissimilar in design to the British Sam Brown belt with the weird sort of stitch and patterning in. Now this one I believe is actually Russian made. Let's see if I can get the um, maker's insignia to focus. There we go, so we've got some Russian making insignia and it's stamped 1968 production you've got the russian star with the number 15 which probably denotes it was made in factory 15. now these belts i said warsaw packed belts if i'm remembering correctly was to prevent political iconography being displayed on the belts like the old Deutsches Wehrmacht and Waffen SS belts, which had the Reichs Eagle with got mittens on it as the um, sort of phrase of the Third Reich. These ones were just plain belts, plain buckles. However, they did introduce in for troops, but in their combat gear and dress uniforms, a black leather or grey woven belt with a large metal belt buckle, similar to the World War II belt buckles, which had, again, the Deutsche Democratic Republic logo of the hammer and compass. And moving down to the trousers, as I stated earlier, these ones have a white infantry piping on them to denote that they are parade trousers. They are actually thinner and made from a different twill than the jacket. The jacket is a heavy, woolen jacket as opposed to the thin I'd say that almost like a modern day suit trouser sort of poly cotton feel nothing really to say about the trousers double button top button fly your standard German style trouser then finally the boots as you'll notice these are the knee-high German marching boots or jack boots and these ones are sheepskin lined leather sole on the front rubber sole on the back the DDR used jack boots as well as the Bundeswehr I believe However, the jack boots present with this uniform are in actual fact recycled World War II boots. Now with the NVA, anything World War II, medals, awards, all stuff like that was banned, which is why as you see on this uniform there is no medals awarded because any medals awarded during World War II this person wouldn't be allowed to wear. That was different in the Bundeswehr who were allowed to wear their medal ribbons and some awards so long as they were denazified I believe up until 1951 when specific denazified versions were produced and there'd be certain awards like the wound badges general assault badges and stuff would come on a ribboned version now one more thing i do have from this uniform it came complete with its Taylor's card inside. That was just on the back. 
that had just slipped in the top pocket. Now on this one, I haven't talked anything about the shirt on the inside, specifically because that's just a shirt I have lying around that I've put on this uniform to complete it for a display. With uniforms like this, the shirt worn would be a very pale blue, almost white, but very pale blue gray color. And it would have a tie, which would look black from a distance, but in actual fact was made of the same color and material as the trousers. Well, I hope this gives a little insight into the uniforms of the NVA. I will hopefully be looking to review another one in the near future and thank you for watching.